You wanted to see me? I know why you care so much about Ava Hessington. Well, it's no secret. Her father was my first client. I think he was a little bit more than that. It was a different time. Does she know? Well, she knows that I care about her. I'm sorry, was there something else you wanted? Just to let you know that if I could figure that out, Harvey can figure that out. And why would that be a problem? Because it's one thing for Harvey to know that this case is important to you. Another, to know how important. Are you telling me you don't trust him? I told you he's having a difficult time digesting this merger. I don't want him using this as leverage to leave. At the end of the day, I don't believe Harvey really wants to leave. Harvey, what a coincidence. Cameron, you grew the mustache back. I'll let you in on a little secret. It wasn't a success the first time. What are you doing here? Yeah, Richard told me that you mentioned me at your last meeting. It's funny, because he called me after your first meeting. Wanted my advice. So I guess you're here to tell me he's not going to give me a deal. I'm here to tell you he's recusing himself from the case. He didn't want the appearance of a conflict to damage the workings of justice. So he appointed a special prosecutor. Lucky for me, I've always been special. No, you've always been a corrupt prick. It just took me a while to realize it. It took me a while to realize that you don't have a speck of loyalty in your entire body. Loyalty is a two-way street, and you ran me off the road. So what are you going to do? You gonna let Jessica fight your fight like you did last time, or you gonna run away like you did when you left the DA's office? Neither one, Cameron, but thank you. For what? For reminding me that I don't run from a fight. What was so important that I had to come down here right away? Don't tell me you want a bigger office. You told me that I can think of this office as a reminder of what I did to Harvey or as a symbol of what I can do at this firm. But the thing is, I don't want to be here if I'm not solid with Harvey. Well, that's between you and Harvey. It's between you and me. You put yourself between us when you blackmailed me. Well, the word you're looking for is extortion, not blackmail. And I'm not going to comment on that accusation. But as for your choices, you made those all by yourself. So don't come crying to me. <clears throat> This is a copy of the letter you wrote to the district attorney when you threatened to expose me. Expose you? For what? I never wrote a letter like that. I'm not recording you. I don't need to record you. This letter was printed from your hard drive, which has your computer's digital signature. What do you want? I want to know, if you had the chance, would you have traded that car to get your parents back together? It's a Stupid goddamn question, you know it. I never had that chance. So what does it matter? Because I do. What do I want? I want to give this office back. I didn't earn it. I don't want it. And if there's a chance that'll help Harvey forgive me, I'm going to take it. Oh, and uh, if you ever do send that letter, you're in the same boat as me. Harvey, you're looking determined. I am. What can I do for you? Look, I know we had an arrangement, but I came here to change it. Change it? But you might not even win. I've just heard about this new special prosecutor. Relax. The case was always going to be hard, it just got a little harder. Because you made it that way. That's my problem. And now you're using that increased difficulty to renegotiate our deal. That's your problem. We both know how important Ava is to you. What do you want? I don't want to run from a fight. Meaning? I win, you don't fire me. You back me for managing partner. You want to take down Jessica? Yes, I do.